Welcome back. Now, the Kenya Pipeline Company has for the past uh, 50 years innovated and adapted within the energy sector. According to KPC Managing Director Joe Sang, Kenya has an 18 days fuel reserve, um, which buffers the country from fuel supply disruptions due to external factors. Now, KPC recorded a 23% uh, profit before tax of 7.5 billion shillings for the year ending June 2023, compared to 6.2 billion shillings achieved for the year ending June 2022. <laughs> As we celebrate 50 years, we cannot overstate the role of KPC in ensuring that Kenya, the Kenyan economy thrives. I'm particularly proud of KPC's impact beyond Kenyan borders over the 50 years. We have played a strategic role in ensuring access to petroleum products to landlocked countries across East Africa, including Uganda, Rwanda, Eastern DRC, Burundi, South Sudan, and Northern Tanzania. Early this year, we had a challenge with capacity, and we worked day and night to make sure that our capacity has actually been enhanced also by making sure that we have enough products, you know, in the system. Two, also we don't have the national storage. We have started now working on uh, the tanks which are actually idle at Cotris, and also at uh, um, KPRL. So this one will make us, you know, to be at least to have enough storage in case of any eventualities. And I'm sure by the end of this year, we will be able, you know, to make in use, into use uh, those uh, tanks. If we had renegotiated our uh, FNB freight and premium earlier enough, we, on the G2G with the various international oil companies supplying us products uh, from 118 to 88 today. Uh, we may not have spoken loudly about that, but the freight and premium for AGO today is at 88 from a high of 118, which is $30 discounted. The price we are seeing could have been slightly uh, not what we've just seen. And we brought in the freight and premium for PMS from 97.75 to 90.